My name is Brendan Whittington Jones and I'm a biologist and I currently work for the Sharjah Environment Agency. I think it's an access to perspective. I think people can get a huge amount of information and variety of mindsets from actually reading and trying to understand what other people are saying. I think this, that's where the knowledge is. So I've written two books. One is uh, African Wild Dogs on the front line. That's about uh, my time doing wild dog conservation. And then the second book I've just finished now is uh, Baghdad Zoo, uh, the accidental invasion of Baghdad Zoo. Yeah, it was difficult initially. Uh, the first book I was approached by an agent uh, to put out a book just because of some blogs I'd written about conservation. Yeah, it was very difficult to understand what you write about and what you leave out. Um, so eventually the easiest thing was to stick to writing what I knew, what I had experienced and trying to get people to immerse themselves into that themselves without having to, to try and write about things I didn't understand and, and put in viewpoints that I, yeah, I couldn't back up without having experienced them. And that's something I've taken through to the Baghdad Zoo book as well. It's just, it's very much writing about what I saw and what I experienced uh, without trying to put words in other people's mouths. I think audio reading, you don't have to concentrate quite as much. I think there's a huge amount of our day that's just wasted space, wasted time, where we're either doing the dishes or we're driving long distances. And if you've got, a, if you've got an audio book going at that time, you can, you can churn through books that you would ordinarily never, never look at. Uh, it's, I think it's, a, it's an amazing way to experience books. And if the, the, the narrator is correct and, and appropriate, I find that you immerse yourselves in those books rather than stop starting and sort of stuttering through it like I would normally do.